Uh, let's look at the given sentence. It says, Lovers of poetry in the pre-modernist era had been dash on a thin diet of either platonic idealism or a post-90s decadence and it was felt that the dash and business like America could not equal the sophistication of England. Here, the author suggests that the lovers of poetry in the pre-modernist era, they were surviving, they were living on a thin diet. Thin diet means not very remarkable. Uh, that is, they were not inspired with, by very great things. What they were inspired by uh, were, were uh, platonic idealism, either platonic idealism or post-90s decadence. Platonic idealism would refer to uh, uh, something that is confined to uh, words and idealism confined to words or theories and which is not of much practical relevance. And post-90s decadence would refer to the immorality that uh, pervaded the society post in the post-90s era. So uh, clearly, here the word that would uh, fit in would be uh, would be like alive or surviving, right? Because they are living on a thin diet. Because the lovers of poetry lived on thin diet or something. So when when one is on thin diet, then one is barely alive, right? So options A and D would uh, alive and surviving would make uh, good would be good uh, word choices for the first blank. Right, astute and business like America. It was felt that the astute and business like America could not equal the sophistication of England. Now, here the blank requires something that is the opposite of sophistication of England, right? And astute and business like in any ways mean the same thing uh, that is shrewd and, uh, and uh, clever. So, it, it astute in this second blank would not be of much consequence because. Uh, it's like a repetition of business like so option a would not be a very good choice for this particular blank whereas option D it says uh, barbaric and business like America could not equal the sophistication of England so barbaric is an apt opposite antonym of the word sophistication and therefore option D appears to be a correct answer let's look at options B and C option B says had been stable on a thin diet, which is not a very good term for the first blank, uh, of either platonic idealism or the post-90s decadence, it was felt that the Machiavellian and business-like America, what do you mean by the word Machiavellian? Uh, Machiavellian would be cunning, again, uh, very shrewd, unscrupulous, and uh, therefore, since both the words are not very appropriate for the blanks, therefore, we can also negate option B. Option C says, Lovers of poetry in the pre-modernist era had been quizzling on thin diet. Here we require a verb. While quizzling, which means a treacherer or a traitor or a cheater, uh, does not fit into this blank because it's a noun. Right. So it's grammatically incorrect. Also, desolate and business-like America does not make much sense. So therefore, option C is also incorrect.